Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will try to explore the Earth's mineral. Uh, specifically, we will try to discuss the criteria in which a substance must meet before we can consider it as a mineral. Also, we will try to explore the different physical properties of each minerals. So what are really or what are minerals? Minerals are considered as the building blocks of rocks. It is believed that almost 90% of the Earth's crust is composed of rocks. And these rocks are made up of minerals. An example of a rock is what we know as the granite which we use in uh, construction like the, the tiles in, in the flooring. We also install them in the sink to, to beautify the house. As, or as, as you can see in our, in our sample of a granite, we will notice some dark uh, spots or area dark area white area and there are some gray area in our sample these are what we call the minerals that are present in the granite now minerals came from different types they have they have different odor they have different shape they have a different appearance such as their crystalline their hardness, their softness, their physical appearance vary. Also, minerals are important to humans because we use them in some of our daily routine. Here is an example of a mineral which is known as to be the hardest mineral on earth and also known as the diamond. This example of diamond is uncut, so hindi pa siya natitrim, a raw image of a diamond. Now, diamonds are known for their hardness, and usually we use them in jewelries like rings, earrings, necklace, and other uses such as in, in, in construction. Saw blades or glass cutters are made up or has a component that is made up of diamond. Another example of an element that we use every day is the fluoride and it is present in our toothpaste. Another example of a mineral that we use every day is the talc. When talc is pulverized, it produces a soft powder that we use in our face powder. That is why face powder sometimes called as the talcum powder. And lastly, an example of a mineral that we use in construction is what we call the gypsum. Gypsums or the gypsum boards can be seen in our wall, in our ceiling. They are what we call the dry walls. So there are just some of the examples of minerals that we use in our daily life. So what makes a mineral a mineral? In order for a mineral to be a mineral, it must meet the five criteria. The first one is that the substance must be solid under the normal condition on earth. Now, if you are here on earth and the element is in, is in a form of liquid or in a form of gas, therefore, it, we cannot consider it as a mineral. A good example of this is the mercury. The mercury is in a liquid form. That is why we cannot consider it as a mineral because the first criteria that we should consider is that the substance must be in a solid form under the normal condition on earth. The next 
criteria is that the substance must be naturally occurring on earth. Meaning to say, it should not be man-made. There are some crystals that are made by humans. Basically, we cannot consider them as minerals because these, these crystals did not occur naturally on earth or did not undergo natural or geologic process on earth. The next or the third criteria that must be met to make a mineral is that the substance must be inorganic. Meaning to say, the elements or, or the mineral must not came from a living organism. So, hindi, hindi siya pwedeng galing sa halaman, hindi siya galing sa hayop. That is why a coal which is made up or came from a plant cannot be considered as a mineral because it came from an organic material. The fourth criteria that must be met by the substance to, to be considered as a mineral is that the substance must have a fixed chemical formula or made of specific elements. A good example of this criteria is the mineral quartz. All types of quartz are made up of two elements, which are the silicon and oxygen. It is made up of one silicon atom and two oxygen atom. And all types of quartz mineral are made up of these two elements and are composed or the same atomic number. The next or the next and the final criteria that must be met by a substance is that the atoms must or the atoms that make up the substance must be arranged in an orderly structure. A good example of this criteria is the diamond. There's a reason why the diamond is considered as the hardest mineral on earth. Although it, it is made up of pure carbon, like the, the graphite, it also make, made up of carbon. However, their atoms were arranged differently. For example, the atoms in the diamond are arranged in a form that all atoms are binded together. However, the atoms inside or the atoms in, in a graphite were arranged in a layer form. That is why although they have the same uh, element, which is carbon, their atomic arrangement is different. That is why the graphite is not hard as diamond. So those are the five criteria that must be met by a substance to become a mineral. The first one is that the substance must be solid under the normal condition on Earth. The next one is that the substance must be naturally occurring on Earth. The substance must be inorganic. The substance must have a fixed chemical formula made of specific elements and that the atoms that make up the substance must be arranged in an orderly structure.